beautiful houses. Because I am at the Anrise House. We have flown without having to take a COVID test. We brought some COVID tests with us, so in case we feel sick, like we'll know. We're still masked. About 75% of the people here are masked. But not everybody. It is what it is. We're about to board. I'm excited, but my husband has been regaling me with statistics of like shootings. And uh, his company told him that it is dangerous to walk around by yourself at night. So there's that. I've never been in New Orleans. This is going to be my first time. I was worried after Hurricane Katrina that it was never going to like rebuild. And now I actually have the privilege of going to it. So I'm really excited about that. And here comes my husband. You ready? We have to board. As my husband so uh, aptly said earlier, the red eye did not defeat us. We are not defeated. We are still standing in Louisiana, in Nolens, oh my God. in what? Nola. Right across the street is that Van Gogh immersive uh, experience. Yeah, that's cool. I totally wanted to see that. Oh, that's a trolley. So we're gonna wander. I think our first place to go is the Garden District. Actually, first place is gonna be coffee. And then the Garden District. I'm gonna try to find Ann Rice's house. There was a coffee place attached to the hotel. Easy. Uh, but it was very LGBT friendly, which I really appreciated. And I like their sign. Not what? Not cute. Cute? Maybe it's because uh, you know, Q went walking rogue and started talking all sorts Not Q of friendly? Yeah, it said LGBT. LGBTQ. And I guess it's because Q went wild and started talking about Yeah, Q. I hear you. I understand why Q is upsetting. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, oh, they didn't have beignets. So I'm on the hunt for beignets because that is one thing you have to do while in New Orleans. I've been told, and also it's just the truth. We have a great beignet place, like, right down the street from us. Do it's we? A, yeah, yeah, that, uh, the place with the boys boys and beignets. We, I told you it was a French place. It's right there. Oh, that actually in Healdsburg. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there, but I need we to have one in New Orleans. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, we're gonna maybe take a streetcar. We're gonna see about that, but we have to get changed. Name desire. A giant cake cutter, baby. What that is is if you have an afro. Yeah, yeah, it's a cake. Yeah, I used to have the same thing, but like you know, human size, not park sized. I will. I will. I will.
Have I ever told you guys that my wife is racist? The architecture around here is just awesome. We haven't made it far at all. We're just uh, kind of meandering, trying to get our bearings. We pretended like we defeated this red eye, but our mental uh, capacity and how fast we are moving and, and thinking about things is definitely somewhat. Um... We got medical here. Ride a nano trolley. Or what is it called? Trolley? Oh, it is? Yeah, we opened the trolley. Okay, it's only a dollar twenty-five piece. Yeah, much better than the $40 Uber ride. Yes. There's this big, beautiful house. Totally old school, right? Just like but then there's this bouncy house. It just feels incongruous. I don't know. Everything's weird around here. In a good way. To Anne. Garden District. This is a very pleasant walk. It's, uh, I don't know, there's, there's something certainly enchanting about this neighborhood. I'm enjoying it a lot. The houses are just ridiculously amazing. Most of them, well not most of them, I could say like a good half of them seem to be undergoing some sort of restoration work. I imagine that's, uh, par for course for like the last decade in New Orleans, in Orleans. but uh, but still, there's still beautiful facades. Look at that place. What's crazy is where I live, that would be a billion dollars right there. Yeah. Think about walking through the uh, the garden district, looking at all these old homes. Is you uh, you got to read between the lines, you know? When they say that this uh, wealthy French business owner in 1857 had this estate, well, you, you Google that person, you find out usually that they were a slave trader. <laughs> so, so it's kind of uh, mixed feelings on that. But man, there are some beautiful houses. They're ridiculously beautiful. The area is pretty nice too. How you doing, babe? She says she's doing well, but I know she's doing hot. It is hot. The 14 year old who watched Interview with a Vampire and went around biting people randomly. I mean, not I mean, most of them were consenting. Um, would be so proud right now because I am at the Anne Rice house. Now, Anne Rice doesn't currently live here. I heard it got turned into condos, uh, but the, it has definitely got the gothic feel. I could imagine a scene from Interview with the Vampire going on right here. I like the wrought iron. Well, I don't know if it's wrought iron. It's just my guess. That looks like fleur-de-lis, but also kind of looks like skulls. Tell me I'm wrong. It's really cool. So, uh, noted celebrity writer, Anne Rice, wrote all those, uh, those uh, romance vampire stories right there. But yeah, lady had some good digs, man. This place is ridiculously huge. It wraps around. I mean, it's not just this place here, it goes, like down the block. It is the corner house that takes up 
most of the block of chestnut and at least, you know, a third of the block of uh, first. Check this out. Let's look down the side here. That's still, that's still the house. It just keeps going and going and going all the way up into that other White House. That, that, that's ridiculous. If, if Anne Rice did not have a giant family and like 17 adopted kids and maybe some Ukraini, Ukrainian uh, refugees, then uh, what was she doing with all that space? Writing? That can't be just like for extra manuscripts. That's crazy. That's crazy. This? So um, we're in the south. As you can tell by my Ooh. my glowy look, um, it's hot. And uh, to cool a place like Anne Rice's place, you need like 17 air conditioners. 17. They're like they're just lying down the whole side of this thing. You hear them buzzing and buzzing. I uh. I can't I, afford that energy bill. No, no, we got one little air conditioner that takes out the whole RV and, and works out. Well. It tries. It's it's a mighty might. Oh, look at that. Just to my wife complain. That is. No, I want. I want. That is an awesome patina on that building right there. Magnolias. This is what we see in the Garden District. Beautiful houses getting worked on. Some of these buildings just look like frat houses, right? Like, tell me that's not uh, Phi Data Kappa or I guess that's Sorority Alpha Data Epsilon. I don't. I don't know frats. I'm not a. I'm not a fraternal kind of guy. It's the little features like this. That's just awesome. Yeah. It almost feels fake, but it's not. Oh no, you can tell. You can well, see there's the, uh, dead stuff. So the yes. growth in there. But like it, but, it's so perfect. Yeah, it is. It's so, uh, it's almost like Disneyland built a Louis yes. Louisiana yeah. set. A lot of the, uh, you know, historic homes here obviously have these plaques like this that give you a little bit of the history of them. This one is a uh, asymmetrical Queen Anne style uh, residence built in 1891, I believe. Um, this one isn't the, one of the coolest as far as I'm concerned, but it's interesting when cool you read to get a Yeah, it's cool enough to get a plaque, but it's interesting when you read all these things like you find out that this was once owned by um, uh, DuPont uh, the guy who started DuPont chemical company um, Back in just the property just oh the property was owned by him. I, don't, I guess he maybe didn't live here No, he didn't live here, but the property was owned by it before they did the construction for this It had two brick buildings previously Oh, okay. So they built this uh, on top of the, the chemical dumpster fire that was the pond chemical back in the day. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, but still, no, I mean, that's, it's interesting that all of the um, connections and history all these little places had, you know, like if you were here and you time traveled at just the right time and killed a whole neighborhood of people, you could have changed history. Yeah. Well, I mean, you leave Anne Rice. Yeah, my 14 year old self agrees. So, where are we going to go to now? I am. Yeah. Putting me on the spot. Well, let's, uh, let's, go, let's go wander around a little more. Okay, I just want to Look sit, at sit that. down and, and cool down for a minute. Sit down and cool down? Hot All right. Then uh, let's go. Uh, that's a curb. Yeah, I could sit on a curb. Let's uh, let's go find us a, a little like cafe or something. If you Google the cafe and we don't just walk randomly like it's usually the thing we we're do. We're going for to St. You. Charles Street right now. No, no, we're not going to just walk towards St. Charles. We're going to Google something and figure out exactly how to get there. 
or I will sit on a curb. I don't know how my wife made it through the 90s. I'll sit on the curb. <laughs> Something I've come to understand about myself is that while I appreciate, no, I'm not gonna go that fast right now. While I appreciate how pretty the houses are in the garden district, I don't know that I'm super overly impressed by big, beautiful houses. We go small. We're about small living. That's not just that. Uh, I like other kinds of architecture, mostly castles. I need drama. Where's my castle? Not slavery isn't the drama you need. No, <laughs> I don't like the slavery the as much. History of violence. A little less slavery. But um, I think I like the gothic nature when the things are super gothic <laughs> and run down. That part I really like. So in that theme, we're gonna try to go find <laughs> us a graveyard. Cause that's amongst the other things to do in New Orleans. New Orleans. As we walk in the heat towards the cemetery, there's also some really cool houses here too. Like there's this alligator house. I mean, I don't know what else to call it. And then there's this tiny house. I'll show you. It's a tiny house with a garage. Yeah, it's got a garage even. A needle house with stairs all the way up to the front. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's also like so obviously tiny compared to like the rest of the houses around here. Although that one's pretty small too. Look, at some of these lots are like half a lot and they've just made it work. I love this kind of area, maybe more than the garden district. We found it. Now to try to get inside. quiet solemnity to it, but there's an awe to knowing that all of this has been above ground for years. Some of these things date back to the 1800s.
Morrisville. There we go.